Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to our Get Astrologic Now YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about the new year, the new month of January 2015. And this month we have quite the array of astrological events occurring. The most important, I believe, is the fact that Uranus and K2 are going to come together exactly this month. As a matter of fact, around the time of the new moon, which is going to be the 20th of January. But this really does indicate a great awakening of consciousness in the world. And personally, I've been waiting a long time for this awareness and this higher consciousness to really come about in the world. But what you will find is when there's the higher consciousness or the higher awareness, there's always the negative pole that, that it comes in equal force. Because remember, this is a world of duality. And in a world of duality, we have the opposites. This world is based on magnetism. It's what makes the earth uh, on its axis and spinning around the sun the way it does. This is, this is a part of our world. We must have equal poles and pull in this world. And of course, where there's the greatest darkness, there's the greatest light. So you're going to find as consciousness and awareness becomes higher, so does the ignorance and the darkness in equal force will come together. And this is the year, I, I'm going to call it the year of the Great Awakening because we start out this year with the Uranus K2 conjunction. Now at the same time, we've got Jupiter aspecting by trying this conjunction. So it's really empowering it. And on top of that, we have the Uranus and K2 in the sign of Pisces, which is the last sign of the zodiac in the last portion in nakshatra of the zodiac. What is this all about? This is about spirituality and that people are really searching for something higher and deeper throughout this year. And as Jupiter is trining this conjunction, remember it's aspecting Pisces, which it rules that sign. Whenever a planet aspects a sign that it rules, it empowers that sign or that house in a chart for good, for more power, for what it's all about. So I'm going to say that this is a really an incredibly powerful aspect. Jupiter aspecting the Uranus K2 plus the Uranus K2's dispositor by being in Pisces is Jupiter. So you see there's this major connection. In K2, I believe the nodes cast trines. It's definitely been a part of my work and I've seen it uh, definitely bring things to the forefront. So K2 also is aspecting Jupiter. So it's like they have this unison of aspect and, and rulership. And remember Jupiter in Cancer is exalted. So it's all the more powerful that it's, it's bringing all of this consciousness awareness and change into the world. This is a much different world based on this. Now around the 1st, January 1st, Mars and Jupiter will exactly oppose. Mars is exalted in Capricorn, Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. This will be good for the economy. So you're going to see great trends in the economy pick up in January. It's going to look like a good year, but be aware that when Jupiter changes signs in the summer months, there will be a big shift and change in the economy and get ready for some, some lows. But right now it's high, so enjoy the first six months of the year. Also, another aspect that I see that is really powerful uh, coming up this, this, this whole month is the fact that Mars will be conjunct Neptune. Now this also happens around the new moon. And Neptune, of course, can be deception, denial, and it can also be, you know, delusional thinking. So Mars will activate this. Now also notice that they're this is going to occur in the nakshatra Shatabishak. Shatabishak does deal with healing. And in that said, I'm going to say that events with mental instability or mental health will surface. There will be a healing in this area. It could even revolve around issues of addiction. So watch that this will be some uncovering and things that need to be addressed and healed throughout this, throughout this coming year. 
this month Mercury is going to go retrograde. It's going to go retrograde around the 22nd of January at around 23 degrees of Capricorn. And what you'll note is when Mercury does go retrograde, it will be in the same element for the entire year. So therefore, this whole year of 2015, Mercury will be in Earth signs. So right now it's going to be in Capricorn, so then it'll be in Taurus and Virgo later. But so what does that mean? It's all about the economy. This is a major pivotal year for economic highs and lows. So this is going to be the most extreme year economically. Um, and in this month, what you're going to find is, looking at the chart, Pluto has been squaring Uranus for quite some time. And it's almost exactly an orb uh, this month, not quite. But if you'll note, it is at the midpoint of Rahu and Ketu. And what does that mean? Well, that means that there is incredible powers that have been controlling the world. And I think that this is the month or the year, pretty much this whole year, that things are going to come out about political control, manipulation, and particularly how these powers, these few people or, or organizations that are so powerful because they have so much money, how they've been manipulating the economy and how they've been manipulating the the masses of people through their massive control and power with money that will that will surface and come about as well this month so Jupiter is is in trying to Saturn throughout this month uh, but not exactly by degree but this this really does bring out certain aspects of what Saturn has been doing and that makes the truth come out because you see Jupiter's aspecting Saturn as well as K2 is aspecting Saturn because it's as all the water signs, K2, Jupiter, and Saturn. And so what does that do? That brings the truth out. And as you can see in some very famous people around the world, the truth is coming out after about 30 years. And Saturn is our karma. It's our karmic debts, our karmic retribution. So many people you're going to find are going to come and have to tell the truth. And whether they do or not, they're paying their karmic debts because circumstances in their life will make their life pretty miserable by the fact of what they've done before. They have to pay. They, there's karmic retribution during this uh, this whole year, but it's really because of Saturn, Saturn in its positioning. So the other aspect I'm seeing is that we have the stellium of planets in Capricorn. Saturn is aspecting Capricorn uh, by its third aspect, its third full aspect while it's in Scorpio. And we have the new moon, Mercury, and Venus in the sign of Capricorn. So this does create a serious tone to the world and it does represent economic changes that are going to happen. But I will say it's going to start out on a good note and it's going to be a roller coaster ride throughout the rest of the year. And anything else, let's see. Um, actually, I want, I want to make note of the fact that, as I said before, the nodes cast trines. So Rahu, in, in this effect, has been aspecting the sign Capricorn the entire time that it is in Virgo, of course Taurus as well. But all these planets in Capricorn, especially the sun and the new moon this month on the 20th, this represents that world leaders are going to get stronger and there's going to be major trends and events that will change the countries and the laws and everything will start moving forward. But let me remind you, Mars being in Capricorn till around the 5th and then it's going to shift into Aquarius for the rest of the month, it's in a Saturn ruled sign. While Saturn is in Scorpio, it's in Parivartana or mutual exchange. So Mars and Saturn are in each other's signs. What this will do is create delays and setbacks. So until Mars leaves the sign that's ruled by Saturn, there, things will go a little slower. But then I see that things will change 
right after Mars moves from Aquarius. So you're going to see things start to go forward. And especially, especially um, by the time of the eclipses. The eclipses start in March and then in April, Jupiter will go direct again and there's going to be some forward movement um, worldwide in laws and, and how the people are governed and also what, last but not least, in the economy. So I want you to look forward to this being a new year of an awakening and karmic retribution where the truth is, is comes out for everyone in the world. I'm looking forward for 2015. Enjoy, relax, because 2016 has another array of problems that we'll deal with. We'll talk about that later. Thank you, and if you would like a chart reading, please go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.